Hi and welcome to this new video in which I'm showing off my collection. Uh, this time, showing off this shelf. Um, it's the third one in the smaller uh, cabin, ca uh, closet. Uh, I don't know the correct word in English. Um, and this one, as you can see, is the uh, second to last uh, German shelf I have. And yeah, it's pretty obvious these are all uh, ambush camo uh, builds that I have on this shelf. Um, let me uh, uh, think how I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, the, the small guns can go in first. No, let's start with the minifigures. Um, I have to be really honest that I'm a complete noob when it comes to um, minifigures and um, the camo, uh, especially camo uh, uniforms, but uniforms in general. Um, I traded these two with DB Bricks. Um, a good channel to follow. He buys a lot of uh, Brickmania stuff too, and um, um, yeah, he has uh, some kind of a uh, Lego vlog going on with uh, World of Two stuff. So I really high uh, recommend his channel, DB Bricks. Um, I traded this, these figures with him, and I really liked them. Um, I went on Instagram when I had, when I got them, uh, asking what sh which guns should go with the uh, pouches uh, on these printed figures. And um, yeah, people say it was the car and the uh, MP40. Um, yeah, sounds possible to me. Uh, plausible. And um, yeah, if you know the exact uh, name of this type of camo, because like I said, I'm a total noob, I don't know it. So if you know it, leave it in the comments. I really like those kind of information. Uh, put these aside, then I've got two, these two guys. And the same story goes here. Um, I think I bought them or traded them. I don't really remember anymore. But um, I believe these two of these three pouches were for the MP40, and these were for this one. Totally forgot the name of this gun. St something. I don't know. Um, once again, if you know the name of the camo, leave a comment. I really would like to know it. Okay, let's watch the guns and uh, let's start with this one this one no um, make some room I have to make some room like that this little one is the Raketenwerfer I based it on a um, design this one that I spotted um, on a picture on the internet that made by uh, Dan Siskind from Brickmania uh, to go with an original uh, uh, Kettengrad uh, uh, kit. And it wasn't hard to eyeball this one, how it should be made. And um, I thought I would like one in camo. So I made this one up myself. I used the design of the original build and made this one uh, yeah, with the camo. Uh, use some olive green, dark tan, dark brown, tan, and uh, reddish brown, and of course some black parts because they are way too expensive or rare in other colors. I'm happy with this one. I really like this one. The same, almost the same story goes for this one. This is the pack 36, and this one is made with. Uh, let me check this one. Um, okay, uh, based of this Brickmania design. The pack 36, that was uh, one of those um, uh, kits from Brickmania that's very cheap, very easy to get. Uh, a lot of people think have this one. And I thought, uh, let's uh, give it a camo uh, pattern too. So I made this one, I like it. Um, put this one back, I like that, okay. Uh, and I actually did a tutorial video on this one. Uh, so if you want to build uh, this one too, check out the video over there, tutorial video. The next one in line is this uh, Brickmania kit. And this one, um, 
I actually own already the Brickmania original um, Nibelwerfer and this is the newest one and actually I I bought it off uh, together with the instructions of this one I, I bought it off the um, website of Brickmania they have a 360 view uh, um, uh, feature uh, at their uh, um, website where uh, if you go to the page of this Nebelberger you can see the um, uh, 360 image that you can turn around easily all the sides of this uh, little uh, gun <laughs> yeah okay um, and it's very very easy to make this one yourself doing so and uh, to be quite honestly it saved me like almost 20 euros and um, that's uh, in my opinion a lot of money uh, because the parts are very easily to get very cheap parts to get they really uh, made this one I think easily to restock for themselves and it makes me easy to make uh, the same gun too um, yeah so thankful for that 360 uh, uh, feature uh, the next one is this pack 40 uh, it goes together with this uh, SD KFZ 251 um, maybe I uh, should make some space so I can sh show you it's uh, being attached to the rear of that one one more. yes like this this was a original Brickmania kit and um, uh, designed by Daniel Siskin I think and um, these two came together in one kit and, and it had some uh, minifigures with it too. Uh, I really think it's a cool uh, uh, combination of these two. Um, first of all, I really love half, half tracks. Um, there's something special about the, the, the being a normal car in the front and having those track links uh, like a tank in the rear. It makes me really love half tracks and doesn't matter if it's German or it's uh, uh, allied or whatever uh, I just love all types of half tracks and um, uh, this one in the, the camel pattern I really like it a lot um, uh, yeah um, maybe some features is uh, not that much except for the opening doors in the rear I'm afraid I'm gonna break it when I try one hand, no, it goes okay. Uh, opening doors. So in uh, in real life history, uh, this one would deploy uh, rap rapidly into action. The the troops will come out in the rear and attack from the side. So yeah, really um, cool um, war machine, I think. And I really like this design. I like the um, uh, the color. Um, I, I think Big Mania is one of the first who did this uh, with these uh, colors um, being a tan, dark tan, and reddish brown, and uh, decking it out with uh, olive green leaves. I, I really like it. It's a really good combination, I think, of uh, camo pattern and makes. Uh, makes it really look good and the same goes uh, with the pack 40 uh, I believe there is also uh, light bluish gray uh, produced by Brickmania in the in the past I don't own that one maybe I will make it one day because yeah I know how this one works so it's not so hard to build myself one in dark bluish gray but I never took the time um, yeah, mainly because uh, I think it's uh, I don't uh, I think I think the the all the World War II German stuff looks better in dark blue gray. So yeah, um, let me put this one aside for the next. One. And the next one is this Puma. It has an SD KF set number, but I unfortunately forgot, and I think it's 234. But don't pin me on it. I'm probably wrong with that one. Um, when I first saw the uh, book um, from uh, uh, Battle of the Bulge, I instantly uh, loved this one. Um, I think it's a really cool vehicle um, with the turret and all, and uh, yeah, I just like it. Uh, it doesn't have much features, it has an opening hatch, closing hatch, elevating 
turret and root um, gun. Other feeling gun and rotating turret, and that's about it. But I really like this model. Uh, it was actually pretty expensive to build, um, mainly because at the moment that I did it, these wheels were almost impossible to get, and all the all the greens were quite rare at that moment. Um, also, this should be, according to the book, this should be a tan uh, cone, but also impossible to get. My neighbor is sawing, so maybe you <laughs> hear an annoying sound in the background. I'm apologizing for that. Um, let me stop for a moment. Okay, he's quiet now. Let me, if I, I took the uh, um, opportunity to put a uh, figure inside of it so it, you can see how that one looks. I think it's really cool. Uh, yeah, uh, there's actually not much to say about this vehicle than other. It's in a Brick Mania uh, Battle of the Bulge book. There's the, a book. There's the instructions for this one. Uh, I'm really happy to owning one, and yeah, I think just a great vehicle. Um, yes, let me put this one aside and take uh, the last one on this shelf to the shelf and this immediately being one of my most favorite tanks of all time um, this is a, a, a it's a Panzer 4 chassis Panzer 4 uh, L70 yes Panzer 4 L70 it's a, a, a tank destroyer tank uh, no um, um, Jagd Panzer I think it's um, it has no uh, uh, rotating turret. It's a somebody just told me how it called. I think it's a case mat or something. Yeah, I think it says, and um, it's mainly uh, designed to uh, destroy tanks. It's uh, just one purpose: big ass gun to destroy tanks. And uh, this model I really like. It's some something like a Stuk. Uh, just the big brother of it and uh, the Stug being one of my favorite this one also is I really like uh, tanks uh, with uh, those uh, uh, low profiles uh, non uh, um, turning turrets just being a tank destroyer I really really like this one uh, in a previous video uh, I already showed you this one I made um, in the winter camo and that's exact copy uh, them a little bit like this you can see um, I, I just copied uh, this of I used this design and uh, made it into uh, tan and white uh, so it's based uh, obviously big time on this one um, I really love this one I really do because I really like how they came out in these colors but still this one is my favorite and um, of the two um, yeah I'm really happy with it Oh, my neighbor, come on, why is he going on it? Uh, being the last tank, um, I'll just wait for a minute. So this is it for this shelf. Um, I have to say it's a small shelf, uh, packed full with uh, stuff, but it's one of my favorite shelves. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I'm really happy with this one and I uh, hope you like this video. If you did, leave a comment. Please tell me uh, the names of the camos. And um, if you like the video, please like. And if you already did it, please subscribe to my channel. I can really need some support. And I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, next week I'm on a holiday, so there will be no videos. And um, um, yeah, so in two weeks uh, I might be back again. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.